I'm the Cancer Sun Millennial uh, with Princess Diana PTSD at the front of my mind at all time. So um, just want to dissect the mainstream media right now. Ignore the red light mask. It's the only thing that's keeping me mentally together right now. Kate Middleton officially hits rock bottom. Next article that they that they run. Prince William's alleged affair with Rose Hanberry gets late night treatment as Kate drama grows. Next article that they run. Who is Rose Hanberry? Prince William's alleged affair resurfaces a Kate Middleton drama escalates. But this article, who are you, Daniela Elsner? Okay, I'm calling it. Datchet High Street, 1.50 p.m., March 11th. We have officially reached what has been the absolute nadir of Kate Gate, when a brick wall in an otherwise unremarkable British village has become the subject of furious online scrutiny and downright obsession. The princess the world has known for years, perfect, polished, forever beaming, and the bearer of adorably chocolate boxy children, has been replaced by a woman who has just been brutally embarrassed, forced to issue the very first public apology of a royal career, and now finds herself in a place where the royal say-so will now be doubted for years to come. For Kate, having spent more than a decade painstakingly building an adored public profile, one hospital wing opening, and one plucky scout outing at a time, all of that has, mind-boggling, been dashed, lost in less time than it probably takes Prince William to iron his beloved Aston Villa stripe. The audacity of this of this author to think Prince William has ever done anything for himself his entire life. It's not just a question of speed but magnitude. Do you see this shit, you guys? Like the royal family issued a statement. Like if we go by what the palace put out, this chick had abdominal surgery and was going to be out for two months. I, I don't care the fuck it is. I had abdominal surgery. If someone has abdominal surgery and they're going to be out for two months, I'm going to let them rest. I'm going to let them rest. Because even that's maybe not enough time. So given that this woman would be having abdominal surgery and recovering, this author is putting all the fucking onus on her. The one who's literally sick and recovering. Where the fuck is the rest of the royal family? Where is the management? Where's the general manager? Where's the regional manager? Where's the assistant manager? They're like, oh, Prince William, King Charles, Queen Escort. This, this is insane to me, but they are treating her like they did Princess Diana. And I can't help with just like the tee up of these articles, having Kate Middleton officially hits rock bottom. This is an Australian author, you guys. Then making fun of the affair on late night, right? But also calling it Kate drama. Who is Rose Hanberry? You know, Kate Middleton drama. There was no Kate Middleton drama. Like we knew that she was going to be out until Easter, until, until the royal family, like fucking, did, until Prince, Prince William, who's credited for taking the picture, took that fucking photo. And then the palace officials who run that account, the Princess of Wales account, posted it for them, right? And then... They made Kate Middleton take the fall for all of this. And I'm not even convinced that Kate Middleton had any, like, say or any involvement in her issuing that public apology and taking the fall. It, like, they have managed to make Kate Middleton look horrible. And, I, and you know, I, the only other person that they fucking did this to was the last Princess of Wales. And then they eventually, we all know what happened. But that's because they wanted to push her out to make room for uh, an escort. It's just, can we, can we just, like... The mainstream media is on it. Okay, they're on, you know what I mean? Can we do it differently? Like, that's probably why they want to ban TikTok because we're not just like blinded misogynists. We're kind of like empathetic and we like remember history, you know? And we also know that this family has like hundreds of years of history of Princess of Wales being entitled to everything, including multiple fucking concubines with no repercussions. And as we also know, the royal family is at least 50 years behind us. Like socially, you know, as a society, us poors, they're socially, techno technologically, you know what I mean? And, and social media, all of the ways, okay? So they probably like underestimated um, the power of social media, the anger of women, and also the lack of tolerance for this shit when Kate Middleton is literally also like the hottest. Like, the, you, you, like Princess Diana was the hottest Princess of Wales in the entire world until Kate Middleton came along. And, and I'm not letting you, sorry, I, I'm queer. I love women. I'm not letting you take out the hottest one. She's like the only hot one left in the royal family now that Meghan Markle's gone. Seriously. You guys should like, that's a diamond. That Kate Middleton is the crown jewel. She is the blessing that saved this entire gene pool.